Hello friends, how are you? So today we are going to talk about suntan. Yes, today's dating tip is going to be about using the sunscreen and suntan for different kind of skins. Like if you have brown skin, white skin, or all different sorts of skin. So, <laughs> so for us, if you don't know, if you're new to this channel, I am a brown girl, I'm Indian. And my husband, Bill, he is a white guy. We have been together for nine years. We have a three year old kid throughout the process we have learned lots of different things based on that i thought that i'm going to share with you some of the dating tip the experience that we have learned which might help you if you are dating somebody who is from a different culture different race without further ado i'm going to share a story with you how it helped me to understand how the suntans are so different for white skins and brown skins so come with me so it was about six months of dating and we both decided we'll take a trip together. We thought we will go to Virginia Beach. It's not too far from here and it is summertime. So both of us probably will have fun time. Somehow as we packed everything, we forgot the sunscreen. We were already on the highway and uh, Bill tells me that, oh, we forgot the sunscreen. So we need to go to a pharmacy or something to buy the sunscreen. I'm like, why is it such a big deal? We can just buy a sunscreen from over there or whatever. So we go to a store, we had to actually take the exit and then go to a Rite Aid store, bought the sunscreen and he put some on his uh, face and body and back and everything because the sun was actually hitting from the side as he was driving because he was driving and I was sitting on the passenger seat. He still got some freckles on his body, which is okay. That day when we went there, we didn't do much by the time we went there on the beach. Uh, it was afternoon, almost evening, so the sun was not really that hot. So we spent a little time, walked around, went to a restaurant, had good dinner. So uh, next day is when we really planned that we will go to the beach and have fun. So I was super excited. I packed all the things. I even bought a uh, tent which was specifically made for beach trip. It even has those SPF coating or something inside. So I packed the tent. I had a cooler. I got lots of snacks and uh, fruits and other stuff. So I was thinking that we will have this nice picnic experience on the beach which we kind of had but after that is where it gets interesting. So we went to the beach and it was really really hot. So we put the tent up on the beach area and then Bill and I, we went to the ocean and uh, spent a lot of time. Know that you have to use the sunscreen every like 90 minutes or so. We didn't really take that that seriously. So uh, we would go there and spend some time in the water and then we'll come back to the uh, tent and eat something and rest a bit and then we will go again. So as we did that, it was uh, several hours and because this was still kind of in the beginning of dating stage and Bill is a nice guy, so he actually didn't say so anything. Um, I could see that there's a little bit of red on his neck area, but I thought, okay, I, I do see that white people usually get little red from the sun. And if you didn't know, brown people also get suntan. So the way suntan happens for brown people is instead of getting red, the skin gets a little darker. It's just one or two shades darker and it stays that way for uh, several weeks and then it goes away. Unlike white people, it doesn't generally pain for us, but uh, for white people, I know that when it gets red, it, it kind of hurts. So anyways, after the beach, after several hours, uh, Bill wanted to go back to the hotel. And I'm like, you know why? Because uh, we wanted to spend as much time as possible close to the beach because our hotel actually was a little bit farther from the beach because we planned last minute. We couldn't find any hotel on the ocean front. So we had to be like about one or two miles away, I think from the ocean. So he wanted to go to the hotel and I said, uh, there is a hibachi restaurant right there. And if you haven't been to a hibachi restaurant, I definitely recommend you go there. The show that we'll put up right in front of you, because what they do is they have this huge table where about 16 or so people would sit around and the chef would cook the food right in front of you. They start with the salad and soup and then they will cook the fried rice, meat or shrimp or whatever you want right there right in front of you. So it's, it's a lot of fun. So I told Bill that you know why don't we go eat at the hibachi restaurant and then we'll go to the hotel. I actually didn't know that he was by then he was hurting really bad. The way he is he's, he's a nice guy and it is still like you know the, in that phase where he wants to impress me so he didn't say no so we go there at the hibachi restaurant 
So you know, we uh, go to the restaurant and sit down next to each other. So now this is not Bill. Uh, this is the whitest thing I could find in the house because he's not around. And uh, trust me, he's not a white ghost with tongue coming out of his mouth. He is a normal white guy. But anyway, so we were in the restaurant and he seemed like he's really tired and uh, doesn't really want to do much. They gave us the food, very nice uh, soup and salad, all of those things. So I'm eating and he kind of puts his his uh, hand on his uh, forehead and he puts his head down like this and I'm like are you okay what's going on he says uh, yeah I'm fine uh, somehow we finished our dinner he was kind of quiet mostly listening which is still the case most of the time I talk and he listens after a while uh, so we were done so right next to the hibachi restaurant there was a CVS so he said oh let's go there I'm like okay I don't know what he wants to buy now so he bought a aloe vera gel you know how aloe vera they sell in a tube or something and then you can uh, put that on your skin which I actually didn't know until then uh, if you ha get uh, sunburn or something so he took that and then we go back to the hotel when he removed his shirt and I got the biggest shock of my life I see that his back entire back is red entire back and the neck was red but the back was like completely red it's like lobster red trust me unless you see it you won't believe i was like oh my god and this was a brown girl from india that was something really eye-opening tip for you is if you have a white boyfriend white girlfriend don't mess with their sunscreen because you don't know the sunburns that they can get is nothing like what we as brown people get. So go with their sunscreen, whatever they want to use or even try to help them. And on the other side, if you are white and you are dating a brown person, especially somebody coming from India who has no clue that a white person can get sunburn like this, explain it to them. Like in our case, we spent the whole day and uh, until we went to the hotel and I saw how red Bill's bed was I had no idea how bad it was and, and it was so painful for him hope that this tip helps you if you are planning for a trip or anything like that summer is coming keep that in mind thank you for watching this video if you like it please subscribe and share it with your friends and I hope to see you next time bye for now